Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the video we've all been anticipating, we've all been waiting for, and I'm ready to share with you how I lost weight and how I lost roughly 10 pounds a month. And if it looks like I'm looking down, it's because I have a list of the things that I want to talk about. And so stay tuned for that. Okay, so my starting weight, my heaviest weight ever, was 220 pounds. I know that's so much, and for my height, I'm 5'3", so I was obese. Um, I have no shame saying that, I don't care. You should never be embarrassed of your weight. 220 pounds looks great on some heights, some other people, on different body shapes. I'm not telling you, you know, you need to lose weight. I'm just sharing with you how I did it. And in another video, I'll explain to you why I decided to lose so much weight. And it's not the obvious answer you might all think. So, um, this is how I lost roughly 75 pounds. And so stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first step that I did was I cut my calories drastically. So I was never a I was never an emotional eater. I I was a boredom eater. So I ate when I was bored and that is never healthy. And the things that I would eat, I would just just constantly be eating all the time. Like I'm just so bored. I'm just oh, what can I eat next? And all that's on my mind is what can I eat next? What can I eat next? So the first step in that is to cut your calories and when you do this I cut my calories to 1,000 to 1,200 in that range and um, when you're doing this you need to ensure that everything you eat is nutrient dense so you don't want any empty calories because um, if you're having empty calories you're gonna start feeling weak and empty calories aren't gonna help you lose the weight so nutrient rich foods would be lean meats um, eggs, whole grain, whole wheat, things like that rather than white flour, white rice, candy, you know, all of that stuff. Those are empty calories. Um, my next tip is to drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day. So I know that sounds so confusing, but if you just Google it, half your body weight in ounces of water it comes right up and you can just calculate that because I'm really bad at math and I could never ever calculate that so next we have um, this type of things that you should eat now I ate lean meats but I why am I sorry that's a helicopter <laughs> so yeah, I ate lean meats, but I cut out pork because it's high in cholesterol, and I cut out basically cut out beef out of my diet as well. So no bacon, no cheeseburgers, nothing. Unless it was a cheat day, and even so, I barely even ate them. I mostly stuck to chicken breast or chicken just overall, and fish, salmon, um, fish fillet. But I and I stayed away from fried foods completely. I ate nothing fried whatsoever because that's a lot of fat and grease and the more fat you're consuming is the more fat you're going to retain especially if it's a bad fat so just keep that in mind um, my next tip is I exercised two to three hours a day and how I started was I started exercising at home first um, I created a plan for me and I can make a video about how I exercised in the beginning and where I started to do um, so I did weight training and cardio and I mostly did cardio so I was on the elliptical for maybe two to three hours every other day but you um, I wouldn't suggest to do it every day because you can really wear out your muscles you can really wear out your body and that's not healthy and you'll start to feel lethargic and tired and you don't want that whatsoever point black you don't want that um, my next tip is no eating after 6 p.m. If you're going to eat after 6 p.m., it has to be fruits, um, wheat crackers, something 
whole like a whole food item um, and that's what I did I had whole foods tried to limit my processed foods so especially if I'm, if I'm having a snack it's gonna be like some grapes or avocado and crackers and everything depends on season especially if you live in Jamaica it's kind of hard to get certain stuff when they're out of season especially avocado and I love avocado in Jamaica we call it pear it's so good especially on a wheat cracker so next what I did was I had green tea I drank green tea very often maybe about two to three cups a day tea bags and it really helps so when you're losing weight you want your bodily functions to be kind of constant so when you're drinking all of that water you tend to pee a lot and you're getting rid of the excess water weight and the green tea really helps to speed up your metabolism and also get rid of excess water weight as well um, my next tip is weigh once weekly so once you're exercising and you know you're eating well you should be losing weight now if you're a female it's kind of different for us because our body goes through so many things every freaking week so one week we're so slim and then the next week we're bloated and then the next week you know we're getting our lady monthly <laughs> so um, as a woman I would say you know weigh once a week and if you see like your weight goes up just calm down you know it's water weight nothing serious and by the next week or two it'll all be gone and you'll be fine again and you probably see that you really did lose more weight um, next tip is start the gym the gym is so good and it's so motivating and it it makes working out a little bit more fun especially for me I was getting really bored with working out at home and I was losing motivation and then I was like you know let me start the gym um, my next tip is have fruits and vegetables every single day always every single day make sure you have at least two fruits and two vegetables for the day that will really help your skin your body your mind everything the next step is you need sleep try and sleep eight hours a day literally eight or more because that helps your body um, break down everything that you've eaten for the day and you wake up looking slimmer as well and um, it helps with your skin it helps with your mind it helps with everything so when you're when you're starting to lose weight you have to learn how to take care of your body you don't want to go on a diet that really damages your metabolism it really just makes you weak and tired you want something that pumps you up you want something that makes you motivated you know yeah um next is eat lots of fiber rich foods and don't cut out carbs for a long-term healthy diet, you don't want to cut out carbs. Carb, you need carbs. You need carbs. Your brain, your body functions on sugar, sugar cells, on glucose. So you need um, your carbs. So that would, and I would say, I'd recommend um, get your carbs from whole grain sources. You know, brown rice, whole wheat bread, whole grain bread, oatmeal, uh, different sources like those that are really good for you um even even brown sugar okay don't cut out sugar either you need your sugar <laughs> um next is make a smoothie smoothies really helped me they're really filling and that's how i got my fruit and vegetable intake for the day i'd make a huge a blender full of fruits vegetables lemon juice you know flax seeds i get my omega threes and stuff from there and um yeah it just kept me really full and i was just satisfied for the day and it tastes so good it tastes so good and use 100 percent fruit juice you don't want the white sugar in your diet you want everything all natural like i said whole foods um next is try and limit your alcohol you don't want a lot of alcohol alcohol isn't good for you um i'm not a drinker but I was a social drinker, meaning, what am I saying, was, I am a social drinker. So if I'm out with friends and they're like, hey, have a drink, I'll have one drink. Literally only one drink and I'll sip on it for the entire night. 
and then I'll get something sugary. But try and stay away from alcohol. It's not good for your liver. I mean, it doesn't help with losing weight. Next is watch your sodium intake. Um, when you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to retain any water weight because you want your weight to be the lowest it can be so you feel better. So you're going to want to limit your salt intake, watch your sodium, how much you're having for the day, look up how much sodium is allowed for the human body and try and eat a little less of that. Um, personally, I didn't really cook with much salt so I use like a pinch of salt here, a pinch of salt there. At first, it's not the best, but after a while, you really do get used to it, and you realize that other things taste salty after. So it's something to consider when you're trying to lose weight. Um, next is watch your portion sizes. You don't want to be having these huge meals, because when you have a huge meal, you sometimes, if you keep doing that, you stop feeling full after a while, and you just want to eat more after. You're like, oh, I just ate so much, but I need more. I need more, I need more, I need more, I need more. And that's not healthy for you, so have small portions. I'm not telling you to have six small meals for the day, but just watch your portions, watch your snack sizes. Um, when you're sharing out something that is already pre-packaged, look on the portion size and just have the portion size. Um, and another key to when you're trying to lose weight and diet, do not, do not over eat do not okay that's just don't try not to binge eat and i'm gonna make a video because losing weight is a process you can't just get up and say oh, i'm losing weight today and then you just start you're gonna it's a, it's a start and fail process it really is i started and i failed about three times until i really got the hang of it and i really did my research and things like that so this is just kind of an introduction video to my whole weight loss series um i know i didn't go too in depth and i plan to um in my next video so bye guys i hope you enjoyed my video and i'll see you next week oh by the way thank you so much guys thank you so much for all of the support i really appreciate it i mean i have so many subscribers already so many likes and views i just hope you guys can all continue to support my channel support me watch my videos there's lots more weight loss videos to come um and you guys can leave suggestions down below of what you'd like to see um so for right now i'm doing a weight loss series and I'm also going to do, again, the fashion videos, a little bit of makeup tips here and there, some lifestyle changes, some DIYs maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, so what after this little clip here, I'm going to put some before and after pictures, a little video of how I look currently at my weight now. Um, and I'm also thinking of doing a question and answer video. So I'm going to keep you guys tuned on that. Um, that's all for now. Bye! <laughs>